Hello guys to another section of learning JavaFX by example. This section is entitled Enhancing the Calculator with JavaFX Components, where we will talk about JavaFX components in details and also we will use them to build another version of our calculator. So in this section we will talk about layouts, controls, events, also how to add menus to an app, and lists and table views. We'll go through an exercise and of course solution at the end. So I'll see you guys in the first video where we will be discussing layouts. What is a container or what is a layout? So a JavaFX container or a layout pane is how the UI components are arranged inside the container, which as its name suggests contains and holds all the components. So, what is a container or a layout exactly? It is how the UI components are arranged inside the application. And since one way to organize all the elements is not going to be enough to respond to all developers' needs, JavaFX offers some predefined containers or layouts like the anchor pane, the stack pane, grid pane, border pane. H in V box, which stands for horizontal and vertical boxes. So let's see how we can use all of these in real life. Let's start by opening NetBeans and let's create a new project for our enhanced calculator. This project also will be FXML based. So let's click on File, New Project, click on Next, and let's call it JavaFX Calculator. Let's rename the FXML document to Calculator. Let's click on Finish and let NetBeans create it for us. Let's open our project, go to Source Packages, and double click on Calculator.fxml. As usual, let's remove the button in the label. Let's make our anchor pane a bit bigger. And as you can see here, you have containers, controls, menus, shapes, charts, etc. So now, let's try to play with an anchor pane. We already have one. So, as its name suggests, the anchor pane anchors all the UI components or elements that you add to it to a distance from the pane. So let's say, for example, we want to add a button to it. It will position it exactly where we want based on X and Y coordinates. A stack pane, on the contrary, is a bit different because it will stack everything on top of each other. So let's remove the button right here, make the stack pane fit to the parent, and let's try to add some controls and see how they will behave. So let's add a button, let's add a checkbox, if I drop the checkbox here on an anchor pane, it will stay where it is. But on a stack pane, as you can see, it all goes to the center, one on top of the other. Now, let's check a border pane. Let's remove this checkbox right here, stack pane. Okay, let's add a border pane now and see how we can use it. So let's drag one, drop it here, make it also fit to parent. Let's hold the button. Drag and drop it, and let's see the result. So here as you can see, the scene builder helps me put this one on top, left, right, bottom, or on the center. So I can put a button in here, I can also take another one, put it to the left, etc. And now, let's check out an H and a V box. Let's start with an H box. Let's make it fit to parent. And as you can see, if we take a button from here, drop it, take another one, drop it here, all the components are organized horizontally, and there is a line that divides them. The same thing goes for the vertical one, where the items are organized but vertically. So let's add a V box and see how it will look like. Make it fit your parent also. And let's add some buttons to it. 
Let's add another one. And as you can see, the line is vertical and all the components are organized vertically. Now, let's check out a grid pane. As you can see, it organizes everything on lines and columns. And this one is really great if you're planning to add a form or something like it. So for us, for this calculator, we will have to add buttons. So in order for us to do that, we will have to use a grid pane to organize button, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, as you might see in another calculator. So for us to do that, let's first go to the anchor pane. Make the size 400 on a 300. So let's go to layout. Let's click on layout here to the right. And here make it 400 on 300. Great. Now, let's add a grid pane here. Or first, let's remove the V box because we don't want to use that. So let's add a grid pane here. And let's go here. You see, this is called the anchor pane constraint. For example, if we put zero here, so this element will have zero space from the right side. Let's also make it have zero space from the left side and zero from the bottom. Cool. Now, from the top, let's just give it an 80. Or, let's give it a 50. This 50 here will be reserved to the text box that will handle the input from the user and also show them the results. So let's add a text field. Put it right here on the top. Make it have also zero from here, zero from here, zero from here. And now that we have added zero to the left, right, and the top, let's give it 50 from here. Great. Save. And now let's add another line from here. Because we want our grid pane to be 4x4. Four four. Let's click on grid pane, add row. So we have four rows, add column, and add another one. Great. Let's save. The text field right here is not a layout, it's a control. But we needed to add it in order to make everything spaced perfectly or everything fit where it belongs. So we're done with adding the layouts that we're going to need for our enhanced calculator.